Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? My name is DJ A9ZT. This is T Unit, and uh, welcome back to Who's Next, the Six Star Experiment, Week Two. And T Unit's pick is Bree Mode. Bree Mode. And you got the Bella Army shirt on tonight, and everything, yeah. repping it. And uh, if you didn't know, T Unit's a sucker for the Bella Twins, so eventually we'll run out of Bellas to cover, and she'll have to pick somebody else. I think I'm gonna get a rule: no Bellas for week three. But uh, I have my pick for week three. Already. We still have regular Nikki and Hall of Fame Bree that we can do at some point for you. But tonight True. we got Bree yeah. mode, and I got some tricks up my sleeve for this one. And we'll go ahead and uh, we'll take a look. Now she didn't have any gear. She's a trainer. Red subs do up to 50% more damage, so could use that. Uh, oh, yeah, I forgot to check the moves. So if we're keeping score here, Missile Drop Kick is the five-star move. The Yes Knee is the six-star move. And we're going to need that Yes Knee because that's going to be the best build available, I think. I'm going to start with the title here, and I'm going to show you. So first thing I'm going to try to do is run this with a normal skill plate, okay? Everybody could get DX Army Assault off of the skill plate with one skill plate picker token. So whenever we break three or more purple gems, we're going to make seven green into black gems at the end of the turn. And I'm running double Fury 2 on here for 40% gem damage. Everybody's got Fury 1. Fury 2 is going to hit a little harder, but everybody can run Furies on her. And uh, I have, look at these, level 1s for most of them. I don't have special Fury 2s. I got any Fury 2 set just to get the bonus damage, so... We'll take a look at the first move set. I got the running clothesline, eight charge purple, deal 67,000 damage and make seven random gems into black gems. That's going to help us charge up the yes knee. That's the six star move, nine charge black, deal 129,000 damage and make eight random gems into X break gems. Then we got the flying forearm smash, nine charge black move, deal 65,000 damage and choose four gems to make into blast gems. So for the Entourage here, we got Woods for the Purple MP. We got JBL here, 50% Blast Gem damage and three extra Blast Gems. We got Ray Mysterio for 25% Blast Gem damage and one more Blast Gem. So now we got Choose 8 Blast Gems. And we got Hall of Fame Bree Mode on Bree. So Bree coaching Bree here for an extra Black Gem and 5% Black Gem damage. So... That's what we got there. We're going to go out here and find us an opponent on the road. All right. So we're going to go out here against Bianca Belair. Time to activate uh, our Brie to play mode here. Um, you know, we don't got the fancy stuff on this time. So we're going Brie to play, if you will. <laughs> so why'd you pick Brie this week, T Unit? Because um, I love the Bellas and I did Nikki last week. So. Rolling with Bree this week. Oh, I mean, did you just pull her? Oh, I did just pull her. <laughs> and so you were trying to see what yes. she does? Oh, okay. <laughs> That's another good reason. Yes. Okay, so we got the running clothesline charge turn one so we can make the eight random black gems. I'm not sure how the uh, this first set's going to do here, but we'll see how Bree to play looks. This is how you could expect your Bree to hit. So the yes knee will make eight random gems into X break. Oh, you love to see it. Oh, you love to see it. That didn't look like a knee. That looked like the yes kicks. Wait, was that called the yes knee? I pulled her at four star, Bricky. That was the yes kicks. Okay, choose eight gems to make into blast gems here. Let's get some blasters going. This board's about to get blown. It's hard to, you're, to you're deep in thought, it's right? really hard to yeah. envision how all this is going to work. All right, we'll just go with that. We'll just go with that. And, uh, bah! there goes the ball. Oh, we missed one of the gems there, but we got a nice little cascader there. And the skill plate hits the black again. And, oh, look at that. 1.2 million damage because she's got nerf on that was 1.8 reduced so she did hit 1.8 yeah, there 1.8 is decent before the reduction what did she got she's got reduction on right 
No, that's Double Fury on Bianca. I, the, how did it get reduced so far? Oh, the the fifteen percent gem defense, maybe. Anyways, but then you're set to go again, so you just go ahead and hit the hit the yes kicks. It's not a yes knee; it's yes kicks. <laughs> I'm gonna send that one in. We gotta we gotta get on that. You're out of here. Well. Funny you should say that, chat, because we're going to test her with the Titan Plate. I wanted to do the Brie to Play version first. Then, we are going to test this out with the Titan Plate. And then, we are going to test this out with the Drip Plate as well. We're going we're gonna to test it from all angles. And we'll look at the rest of the moves again. When I do these, I'm kind of trying to just showcase what I feel is going to put out the most damage. I'm not going to do a bunch of move sets for stuff that's just not going to work. Um, so I don't know that I'll run another move set because with these older characters, there's really not there's not a ton I can show you. Like a lot of these move sets were designed for three star levels, four star levels. Oh, this Bianca is just, the AI is not doing her any favors. We're going to just try to get the uh, fun one here. We're going to go ahead and hit the purple move to try and activate it when we set up the blast gems, too. All right, let's just see if we can get uh, get something here. Eight random black here. Let's see if this sets it off. Oh, well, finisher. Uh, it, well, we'll see. Okay. Hey! I was like, what? there was a slim go. chance that go. nothing went. And it, look at that. It recycled everything. Beautiful. Two milli! That was two milli! Yo, Bree Mode activated, man. Bree Mode activated, man. Not bad. Not bad. Now... We're going to go out here and we're going to switch skill plates and we're going to run it back and we're going to see what kind of damage we can output. Okay, so we are going to switch out the skill plate now and put the Titan plate on. Heroic Titan's Crest. Whenever you make eight or more blast gems, increase the damage of all your gems by 200% for two turns. This is still Brie to play because you can get this off the skill plate picker for 10 picker tokens and uh, it might take you some time to save up. Maybe you got better people to put it on, but maybe, just maybe, you want to put it on Brie Bella. And I'm going to show you what that'll do for you here. So we hit 2 million. Now, it was before reduction, but we're looking at the number on the right. We hit 2 million even was our highest damage without the fancy skill plate. So we're going to see what we can do with the Titan plate here. I got a feeling it's going to be pretty decent. I wish we had a six star to go against. So that we could see the damage doubled on the second turn, potentially. Having the Titan Plate go off two turns in a row. But uh, we'll have to make do with what we can here. That, deep, deep in thought. Yeah, I mean, you gotta be deep in thought, though. <laughs> That'll blow up all of those. Just trying to make sure I hit as much of the board as I can. Whatever, that'll be good enough. All right, here we go. Survey says... Bow! Boom! Three milli! There we go. There's the three million shot. Three million, That's Bree. That's over. She's not kicking. That's turn one, huh? Three milli turn one with a Titan that plate. Nice. Three milli turn one with Titan. Now, if she would, if that's a six star and she kicks out and doesn't cover me, on the next turn I'm gonna get a double up on that. We would have hit about five million damage. That would have been that insane. Nice. So Bree mode activated. Now we got one more trick up our sleeve. Let's see if we can beat three milli. Okay, now we switched it out for the main event here, the Dominator's Drip. Whenever you activate a black move, make seven random gems into multiply gems of strength seven. Let's see if this is going to do better than the Titan Plate. I don't even know. I don't know, but we're going to find out which one is stronger in Bree mode. Now, this is not Bree to play anymore. 
It takes uh, it takes something to get you a Dominator's Drip Plate. <clears throat> the most OP item in the game. A lot of people don't have it. A lot of people don't have it. Do you got a Drip Plate? Negative. Mm, me neither. I mean, I got this one for the video, but I don't have one that I get to use. So. All right, black move here. Eight X breaks, and then it's gonna put the time sevens out. I wish you could stack both. What if you could put the Titan plate and the Drip plate on somebody? Woo! Woo! All right, let's make some blasters here. And that will also... The blast is going to give us more time sevens. So what are we looking at? There. 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 Uh, is anything going to hit that? No. Let's go there. Just do what we can. All right, boom. Look at all these times sevens on the board. And can we beat three million T unit? Are we going to top three million here? Yes or no? I think so. You think so? Give me a, give me a number. Um, 3.2. All right. I'm going, I'm going with 2.9. I think it's going to fall just short. We'll see. Bob! Oh, no. 2.9! Oh, there was no, nothing. 2.9! Nothing to drop in. Wow. Okay. You suck. Titan plate actually hit harder than the drip plate hit. But that was still turn one. A lot of the chat was saying 4 million, but yeah. hey, you know what I'm saying? If there would have been any cascades, we would have been over three for sure we'll see what else we can do uh i got another there's we'll try triple black with the drip plate and see if we can get anything to hit harder than that but i think this the titan plate setup with brie is gonna be the best setup there but we'll we'll try something out we'll okay. be right back okay so uh first we'll go just take a look through the other moves and i'm gonna show you why i didn't choose them so the original finisher the bella buster 15 charge red first off it's 15 charge Okay, do I need to say much else? Deal 129k damage plus 5,900 bonus damage for every red gem. Again, even if the whole board was red, that's not doing a ton of damage. That's not going to finish anybody at a six-star level. Running clothesline. Deal 67,000 damage and make seven random gems into black gems. So that's what we were using. Shouldn't have read that. Snapmare. Ten charge red. Deal 145,000 damage and make eight random heal gems into blast gems. Well, we don't have no heal gems to turn into blast gems here so uh we can't do nothing with that the luthez press 14 charge purple finisher again 14 charge good lord how are you even going to get 14 purple mp deal 102,000 damage plus 15,000 bonus damage for every blast gem and pin the opponent but if i had the blast gems wouldn't i get more damage for blowing up the board you know what i mean i don't know maybe there's something to that one Maybe there's something to that one. And then Missile Dropkick deals 69,000 damage and destroys seven random gems. Now, that would work to blow up the board, possibly. But actually, if you have that, it's going to it's gonna try to favor moves or gems that don't have any modifiers on them. So it might not even blow up the board if you hit it. So I don't think that there's anything we're going to build with these moves that's going to be a six-star level. But we're going to try this Drip Plate again, and we're going to cheat. And we're going to just use props to load up. And we're going to hit all three of our black moves and see what we can do here. We put woods out there, but everything else has remained the same. So we're getting the extra blast gems. And um, I guess we could we could take Bree off of here. And maybe just go go with like a Santa Hogan here. I think we'll just do that. Problem is, uh, at a six-star level, if this doesn't finish her off, we'd be in trouble. Now, I'll just preface it again. We are going to use the Dominator's Drip here. So whenever we activate a black move, we'll make seven uh, multipliers or whatever it said. You know. Y'all know, know what it does. Anyways. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, let's use a prop. First off, let's see if the prop activates the drip plate. Okay, prop does not activate the drip plate. So we're good to go. One prop here. 
We cheated with the prop. I could have took the gem match there, swiped and waited a turn. All right, it wouldn't have mattered, and I didn't even look at that first. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Not gonna lie. You were already committed to using the prop. I I was committed to using the prop. I thought there's no way they're gonna give me my match on turn one. Okay, so we got some some X breaks. We got some multipliers. We're gonna choose eight. Oh, you know what? That black move. Uh, I should have did that first. Because it's going to end up cascading the board. We might have to redo it. We might have to redo it. That's all. Because this is going to blow up the board and then the, and the multiplied gems are going to come out afterwards. You know what I'm saying? I should have hit that first. It did recharge everything, though. That was 3.8 million damage. Okay, we're going to do it again because I know we can top that 3.8. I should have did that first. 3.8, though, this is the most damage that we've put out. I guarantee on this next one I won't get the black match turn one. I knew this would put out more damage, though. It's pretty decent, though. Switching them gems to red gems because red's her, her favored color. That That's what the difference was with that and the other moveset that we were doing before. But, uh, yeah, I think Drip Plate's going to give her the most damage. Stay, I stayed off the red gems for you there, too, chat. Uh, oh, we did get the black match this time. Would you look at that? No prop, too. No prop this time. All right, this is going to cascade here, too. I uh, guarantee it's cascading a pin here. Let's do the black before the crossroads ones, too. There you go. I'm not doing the blast before the X's. The X's are, are random. I'm just doing the X's first. Because that helps me decide where to put the blast gems. I can't control where the X's go, but I can control where the blasts go. Now we're going to have the most time sevens that we can have. Come on, Brie Bella. Don't let us down. Now, where can we swipe? Okay, we got a nice, healthy swipe right there. That's going to be good. That's going to be a good place for one. Go down there. That'll blow all that up. With oh, yeah, we'll get that there. Put one over here. Maybe one right there. Maybe one up here somewhere. This is going to be a lot of damage. This is going to be a lot of damage. A lot of damage. You got some uh, potential here at six star. And BOP! Zoygans! 4.2 million damage. Decent. Decent. Pretty decent. 4.2 million. You do an X with the blast. All right, we'll do one more, Mayo. We'll do one more. We'll do one more. We'll place the blast first. Can we beat the 4.2 million damage? I don't know. I don't know. But I'm actually kind of excited. So, in the, in the history of who's next, Brie Bella, women's champion. I mean, she, all she had to do was beat Nikki, but... <laughs> Good choice. And the last one we did, there was like a bunch of wows in the chat and stuff like that. Like, that's why we're doing this. That's why we're doing it. Nobody thought Brie Bella was hitting 4 million. Nobody thought Brie was hitting for 4 million damage. Well, guess what? She is. There you go. Get them blue gems out of here. <clears throat> okay. Eight blue into red. Give me my multiply. Now we'll put the we'll put the blasters out first. Yeah, I remember to try and stay off the red gems with it though. I need to pick like where's my point that I'm gonna start my cascade from. And all I really have is red matches, so I'm gonna have to burn a red gem. I don't see a single other match. T you see a match besides the, red? The green. Oh, the green, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So I can swipe this up. That'll still go to that one, though. Nah. Yeah. 
Decisions, decisions. It is a lot of decisions. Trying to stay away from the red gems, but still get most of the board there. Okay, here we go. Eight random X breaks. We got this. Who said she used her knee on the last one earlier? She clearly used her toe. All right. Can we beat 4.2 million? Bree, what you got? Oh, look at that. See, we didn't even get the whole board. 4.3, though. 4.3 mil. We didn't even get everything there. That's why I picked the blast last. Um, but hey, 4.2 million? Decent. Shoot. <laughs> Bree mode activated. Bree mode is activated. 4.2 million. Somebody keep a track of that somewhere. That's our record for female damage. 4.2 mil. And hey, gender, who did we do that? Goldberg? Gender was better than Goldberg, too. So we had an awesome week this week with those. And uh, let me know down in the comment section below, how do you run Brie Bella, and who do you want to see next? You gotta influence T-Unit, because she picks the female characters around here. So, uh, who do you want to see? And until next time, y'all...